across these really white because I've put too much glue on them. subdued down here so I'll just I'll keep these a bit more on the on the light side there. Let's get the stick going. Now, I need a bit of a shard off this. I'm going to get it off with my um, my tool here. You can probably see that kind of there, and just put it flat on the on your windowsill like I do, and then just literally just pick through it just it's so soft and just use one of the shards this is quite a nice bit here it's like a little like a little wedge see but if you use that then you can you can actually brighten things up a bit i'm going to put this over here and work on this side first um, so definitely want these whiter I know I've already done these, but you see they get, they do get kind of rubbed off and I don't want these going over in little streaks, like it is in the picture. And then there's a couple of bits just here, there, they're really nice. I'm going to try and get those in, but the trouble is we've got whiskers in the way now, so just have to do, do your best with it. You can do all this first if you watch the videos and think, oh, I'm not going to make the mistakes the knees has made. I'll do, I'll do the whiskers last. That's the best bet, really. I just, you know, I just do get a bit carried away sometimes. OK, 
of excited. Okay, so that's now getting a bit blunt there. So you can actually just sand it a bit so it's nice and pointy again. So you've got a nice sharp edge. Again, just wipe off the excess. I'm okay with this. This is a bit brighter in here, but I'm okay with that because it's it's dark there. I quite like that. Um, what I would like to do is to get some more, some nice white bits in. See, these, these are white, but they're not overly white. This is quite nice. Just a little bit there. Try and put a little bit white in there. And here. Just little bits like that. We've done his roughy bits. I have to move this paper away now. Just gonna try and move this over to the side a bit, I think. So I don't lean on the done this bit here and maybe a touch up here and let's just see in the lip there's absolute tiny touches with this and this is the bit that we need to pay attention with here this bit I did want to do a bit more on his chin Still nice and thin, the mark, so we can carry on. Just have to check that out first. Because um, it soon gets blunt because it's so soft. Let's make that a little bit wider. This, that needs to be wider. around there is quite cute. do a bit of colour shaping on here. Now I'll just do that little curl. It's gone again, see? Who did that? <laughs> it's a bit lighter in here. It's a nice little bit there. streaks in this put lighter streaks in it's going to sharpen this up a bit I think
take off the excess powder and just put a nice little wave again here. And get this out of the way. terribly white down there but this is this is really white here so I want to get these bits in I'm going to keep them feathery because I did put the little black hairy bits over there we can still leave those and still get it really white Gonna soften this out very gently. Just a nice hint.
here is really white. I'd like to get a bit more on there if I could. It's just a tiny bit. I'm just going to use a tiny little, little bit, tiny bit like that. Because this is really white. And it won't go whiter with the pencil. Not with that pencil anyway. I've got other pencils that would make it whiter. The Caran Dash, they would. The trouble is they, when they're tiny like that, they break. Um, but these are hard, these Faber Castell pencils, which is fantastic for certain things and not for others. Just the very, very edges. So I need a bit more. I need something a bit. Just doing this with sandpaper, make it a bit more, a bit more of a point, but it's too blunt. It needs to be really sharp. That might work. Let's try that. You can just kind of get a bit of an overview of it. If it's not too small, you can get a bit better overview on it. It's just on the edge, isn't it? Really, it's not. It's not all over the patch. Just do a little touch on the corner here. And these lines here, maybe just try and make them a bit, a bit brighter. Yeah. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do now is mop it up. Before I do that, because it's white, I'm going to wipe this paper off to make sure it's nice and clean. Press it all in. So you're pressing it right into the paper. Very little of this will come off on this glass ink. Then I use a clean bit to go over this. Another clean bit. needs to be a bit lighter in here, just slightly. It's darker than the outside, but you see there's a little curl of darkness in there. There's uh, some nice blue in there. It, it's, it's just a little bit lighter than it is, really. And we'll put some dark blue in there, because we need to sharpen up a bit. This is soft, this dark blue. Is it's like a cobalt, cobalt blue, and it's very, very soft. It, it broke a few times when I was sharpening it. All the other pencils in this set are very hard, but this is soft. It must be to do with the, the colour. You know, the pigment.
now if we just use the white again at the bottom here this isn't a pure white here it's it's more of a just go over the go over the line there where you're going to round it then here we've got some little white bits that we've lost there coming over here bit more blue, the dark blue in here. That's it. of white on this background here so we just tap that over and with the white pencil we'll just go over these little bits that I put in here just brushes it in a bit more makes them look a bit thinner just soften those edges off a bit of a lump. This doesn't look quite right because it's too too thick on the end. Things get very thin on the end so we'll just we'll just do a bit more of this kind of thing. That's better I think. Right, well, let me just look at his nose again. Just make sure I've got that wiring right.
Okay, I think I'm going to leave that now and then have a look, another look at it tomorrow. Where's my list of amendments? Let me just check. I did make a list earlier. And where is it? to be brighter. I've done that. Nose left side darker. That was that bit there. Um, nose needed to be pinker. Let's put a bit more pink in it. Um, white on the chin. Done that. White part above the arm. That's just there. In fact, I think what would be nice is if we put um, a little bit of white in here as well. Just to emphasise it a bit more. Just pats it back into the into the yellow. Um, right under right eye bit more creamy, done that. So we've got that line coming around there, which I've lost. Um, yeah, that's, that's all my notes anyway. And I've added extra bits in that I could see that needed doing. Um, I've just seen something else that needs doing actually, this, this bit here. Dark, dark grey in there, which is quite nice actually. This bit here. Yeah, I always like that bit. This is a bit dark here compared to the picture. This little bit here. So I'll just lighten it up a bit. It's different, but it's this. So. Yeah, I don't really know what else to do with this. It's, it's just a bit like cotton wool, isn't it? But that's kind of like a, a felty kind of look. I don't know. Just try and blend it in a bit. Just try and keep the board still. Sorry about that. saying that I must stop must stop okay okay well where are you um, I think I'm kind of the right height you can see my whole face anyway thank you for being so patient I think our cat is finished but I won't know until I look at it tomorrow I'll take some photos now then I'll compare the photos from what I took put on the posted earlier and I'll post this on and see if we can see the difference. Um, but bearing in mind, the colours will always look different in every picture because of the light. You know, I've been doing the whole of this in natural light, all of this. So of course it's quite cloudy. It might just look a bit dull. I, I I'll just take the picture and we'll just see what it looks like. Anyway, see you later.